What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I have an unboxing today. Let's go ahead and get into this. All right, so pull this out. I think it's, I, I think I know what it is, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up before I start saying it, because I don't want to sound like, an, look like an idiot. And yes, it is what I thought it was. It is the solar panel from Power Ad. Now, this is not just your normal average solar panel that I've done in the past. This one is way different. Like, this is a beast. Now I have their little like 14 or 13 watt solar panel. It's pretty small, but this one, this one will actually charge up a laptop. You'll just match your plug and whichever one fits in your laptop, you'll use that one. But this sucker is strong enough to actually power a laptop. So let's go ahead and dig into this. The biggest reason I wanted this thing was to power my uh, Dropcam Pro. So like put this on the roof or on the balcony or somewhere like that and be able to power my Dropcam from outside without having a cord going from inside the house to outside the house. So let's go ahead and take a quick little look at the outside of this. You can see the 40 watts there and then the back and just open it up. And the Velcro on this thing is very strong. Um, it's a little difficult to get up, open up actually, which isn't bad. It's gonna hold the thing in place and it's not gonna like flip out on you and go everywhere. So you do have a little pocket here for storing some of these cables or your phone or something like that. And then look at this. It was, I won't even be able to fit this all in the frame. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and do that one more time here. Bam, that is insane. That is a lot of solar panel. And that is just flipping awesome. So I can't even get all of this in one shot, but you have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, <laughs> 12 panels here. And then you've got your little thing right here for connecting a USB port. This light will light up if there is power getting to the panel from the suns and you'll have your USB port, which will do like either 2.1 or 2.2 amps. Uh, so it should be enough to power the drop cam very easily. And then you've got your plug to hook up the laptop. So you'll just take this and You'll stick one of the ends in there. It looks like both ends might actually go in there. We'll see. Yeah, both of them go in there just fine. And then you take the one, like, say this one matches my little Asus laptop. You'll just put that one on there. And we're going to see if this sucker will power a laptop directly off of the sun. Uh, this is going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Let's do it. Before I end this video, I do want to say that I had successfully live powered a Dropcam Pro just using the sun in the solar panel. So I could have the solar panel on my roof and have my Dropcam recording somewhere where a USB cable could reach without actually have a, you know, like a USB cable coming inside the house to outside the house. So there's a ton of uses for this. You could charge your phone in an emergency situation. If you have a laptop that's compatible, it can power that laptop or at least give it a little charge uh, and then be able to use it later on. I will do some more testing of this thing. It does have some kind of uh, protection to keep it from like overheating and it will cut power to it. So there's definitely still some more testing to do. And if you guys want me to, I can come back with the review. If you want to see one, please just let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs down. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My next video should be on the Moto 360 review or the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 4 unboxing, the 32 gig Nvidia Shield Tablet LTE. Many more videos coming very soon if you don't like this type of video. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.